I was going around Kilkenny and I looked in through an archway and I saw this old building and something said, you should buy that. Something that I kind of imagined when I saw it would take maybe two years with me and my chisel and hammer ended up taking 10. So we're here in a room in a building that was built in 1582 that is older than Trinity College Dublin. Its history was, particularly in the 1790s, of the most popular tavern in Ireland. The obvious thing to do was to try to re-enliven that history. There's a lot of oak beams here from that time, oaks that had started growing at least a thousand years ago. The floor downstairs, the four walls, all of the lime plaster, the mortar, the stone, is all original. The standing stone is a signature of the civilization that existed 10, 20,000 years ago, probably. Visitors who come, we kind of tailor the story to them. Stories stretch and range from the actual history of the house itself to the history of where they're going on their Ireland's Ancient East tours. Everybody gets to know everybody, and at the end of the night, we have them all singing. The music here is driven by the house. You know, there's an energy in this house. It's probably recorded in the walls. It's fantastic to have a professional musician come and add to the story performers like Mary Coughlin, Liam Wainley, Ronan Osnodig. But to get locals who are kind of starting out and trying to find their way, that's the real magic. Memorable characters all hinge really on music. Those who have come in and have you know, picked up the guitar or have sung for us. It is the visitor who is really the gem. When I came to this city back in 1999, I walked into a place that, you know, was, was a cauldron of artistic endeavor and output. I recognized that it would be able to make a big contribution to the arts scene. And as a result, the Kilkenny Arts Festival, the Cat Laughs Festival, Kilkenomics, the subtitle Movie Festival have used or been able to put on their events in this house. Key place to take visitors to is the castle. Kilkenny Castle is here since the 1200s. Around it is this kind of necklace of wonderful antiquity. A lot of it is intact. High Street is out there largely untouched since 1200. That medieval mile, it, it's just full of detail. I would generally take any visitors to what was originally St. Mary's Church and is now the Medieval Mile Museum. And they've done a fantastic job of uh, restoring that building. And in there, you'll actually come across the graves of the Archer family. The archers used to own the hole in the wall. I would often bring them out then, out into the county, take them down the walk along the, the river, and then go out to Jer Point. You know, it, it just it kind of grabs your soul when you go there. Kilkenny is like a modern city in an old shoe. And then when you come into the hole in the wall, it's like coming into the old shoe and seeing then what the real structure of the old city is.